ConvertKit tutorial for beginners. How to use ConvertKit step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over the ConvertKit platform that has multiple different features such as creating your own landing pages, forms, doing email marketing, automating your marketing, and earning a income. So let's get into it. Now, Conrad Kit is an amazing platform that gives you a free trial as well. So all you need to do to get started is click on sign up for free on the top right over here. And we're just going to continue on to their sign up page. Now, once you get over here, all you have to do is enter your name, email, and a suitable password. Then you can just click on get started over here. And once you click on get started, this will begin your migration process. If you have previously been using any other kind of tool, we're not going to do that. We're just going to move ahead. Then you're going to enter the size of your audience. By this means, the number of clients or customers or followers that you have for your specific business. Now, after that, you have your business name. So let's say it's called Durden Clothing. Now I'm just going to click on continue over here. Now, after that, you will have to choose your custom domain. So this is going to be the ConvertKit domain, the one that appears on top of your ConvertKit dashboard. I'm going to continue with Dirt and Clothing. Then you also have what kind of creator are you? So this can be what specific business are you running this for? If this is for a business, if this is for your personal stuff, you're just going to enter what kind of field are you working in? So let's say that we are working as uh, maybe YouTubers or designers. And yeah, I'm going to click on continue and answering these questions just helps you in setting up your dashboard in a more effective manner because this enables you to actually have, you know, the tools that you will need for your specific industry. Industry specific tools are very essential to set up any kind of management, financial management strategy or email marketing strategy or landing page for your business. So once we have answered these questions, we will be headed to our dashboard and it's only going to take a couple of seconds for it to load up on our screen. So now you guys can see it's going to ask you what is your main purpose. So let's say I just want to you look around or I want to gather subscribers or send emails. So whatever is the main purpose, you're going to select that. Usually, I like to use ConvertKit for building landing pages as well as do email marketing for those products that I'm creating landing pages for. It's just super easy and efficient to do it all on one platform. So as you guys can see over here, I have completed my sign up process and this is the ConvertKit dashboard. Now on your dashboard, you're going to see on the top you have your grow tools, which includes adding subscribers and browsing you know customer profiles then you have your creator profile where uh you have a one-stop shop for your subscribers to find all your content and products then you have your landing pages and forms next up you have your sending stuff so this includes emails snippets sequences and broadcasts now Broadcasts are an email that you can send to a large audience. Then you have email templates that you can use as a starting point in your emails. Then you have sequences, so multiple emails that are sent in a specific order. Let's say that I have a summer discount, but the discount is only provided when a customer purchases items on my website and then I provide them with like a 15% discount for the rest of the summer. So this is going to be a sequence and in this I will basically automate my email marketing. Then you have your snippet. So this is going to be reusable blocks of content. Everyone knows you have a header, you have a footer, you have a bunch of that body text that you usually don't rewrite. So you can create specific snippets or let's say you have a new campaign coming up and you're going to run it all summer and it has one standard set of images that are going to be used in, a, in the form of blocks. Then you can just create a snippet of those and reuse them over and over in all of the emails instead of having to individually create them. Then you have the automate section. So uh, this is pretty basic. It's uh, visual automations, integrations, rules as well. RRS is a little difficult to understand. So I don't recommend beginners to mess around with this because uh, this is like automation uh, in terms of generating your emails or updates and you can mess up or it can disturb the aesthetic of your emails. Now next up you have earn so you can sell your digital products on your landing page, receive payouts and create a tip jar. Then you have your learning features which includes documentation for you know your own personal use. You have a community and creator university. 
Now, moving on to our more important features, we have our sending feature, and we're going to start sending emails or setting up how to send emails. So first off, we're going to go into email templates over here, and I'm going to be using a template as a reference point to create my own email. You can use your own email from scratch. You can build your own email, but email templates can be super helpful and can really help you establish your brand in a more efficient manner. So I do recommend checking those out before you get started. So as you guys can see over here, this is the email template page. First off, you have a text only basic email, which is pretty standardized for office use, but we can just click on new email template and this will open up the editor. So you guys can see there are multiple different templates available. Depending on what kind of industry you are in, you can use any of these templates. You can even import your own code. So you can create your own HTML template if you have written one, or you can even find them on the internet as well. But we have a bunch of different classic templates. We have starting point templates. So I'm going to use this template over here and I'm not going to change anything because this is just like a sample, but to change anything, all you have to do is you have your buttons over here, you have your template backgrounds, then you have, you know, all of your texting tools and you can select any section and you have like a drag and drop editor system. So I can just select it and, you know, just retype it or type whatever I want. If I want to change the color of something, I can go into templates, check out my background color and change the color as I want it. So let's say I want to make it maroon. I'm going to do that. Then I have this section, which is my, like my header, so I can just select that. And I'm going to select my header from here, selecting a different color like so. And in this way, you're just going to input your own email information. Once you have completed that, you're just going to click on save on the top right. And once this has been saved, so now our template is ready and we can begin sending this. So you also have spacings and borders. Obviously, uh, this is like a basic editing tutorial. It's drag and drop and very intuitive. But after that, once we have created our email, we can actually go into our email templates. And you guys can see this is the template I just edited. I can actually duplicate this and, you know, make it into multiple different variations as well. But for me, this template is fine. Now, moving on to the next section, I like to use broadcasts. So broadcasts are a very efficient way to provide newsletters or information to your entire audience. So you guys can see you have broadcasts. Now, for this, you're just going to click on new broadcast on the top right over here. And it's going to lead you back to your templates page. So you can choose a starting point or you can select a pre-existing template as we just created so you guys can see over here now it's asking me which email i want to send so i have my templates and then i also have the pre-existing starting points uh from the template gallery i'm going to be using the email that i just created in front of you guys to send as a broadcast now a broadcast is you can edit it as well and we're going to name this maybe in fashion newsletter so let's say it's the newsletter for March, and then I'm just going to click on continue over here. Now it's going to be sent from a specific address. The email address that you use to sign up is going to be what it sends from. So when your customers receive this email, customers, clients, or your leads receive this, it's going to be from your email address like that. Then you have the specific um, customers or subscribers you want to send this all. You can choose all subscribers, which means people that have subscribed, anyone that is present within your emailing list. Then you have all, you have none, you have any. And in any, you have multiple different options. So you can filter out these groups. So if I select all, even within all subscribers, maybe I want to send it to people that have subscribed to a specific form. Then I can choose those specific customers. Then I also have things such as cold subscribers. Maybe I want to provide my cold subscribers, which are no longer interacting with my emails, uh, to get a discount so they're more prone to looking into my emails. So I can do that. I can also choose them via postal codes or from a city or region. Let's say you're doing a local campaign and providing a in-store discount for a certain area. That means you only want to send the email to a specific city. So you can choose a specific city and enter that as well. For me, this is the basic newsletter. So I want all my subscribers to receive this. I'm going to add this filter. 
and that is it then you also have add filter group so uh you know you can add multiple different options so uh, that is another option then you have the timing so you can edit the time whenever you want to send it and you can schedule it for that specific time and you can preview your text how it's going to appear on the subject line in a person's inbox then you also can choose to post this on your public landing page but we don't want that so we are just going to like so i've just typed in all my information now currently i haven't added any people or subscribers so i'm just gonna add a couple of subscribers so it's so now my newsletter is completed and I can, you know, start sending it to now my, you know, newsletter that I'm sending in the form of a broadcast is completed and I can start sending it out to my customers. Now, the next feature that we're going to be discussing is landing page and form. So if I go into the uh, grow section and you can actually see landing pages and forms are very, very essential. So you have two options. Forms are a great way to embed like a section to gain more subscribers or more people in your email list. And landing pages are a great way to promote a specific individual product or campaign. So I'm going to click on create a landing page over here and you guys can see there are multiple different templates. So let's say I want this to be for a specific product that I'm selling. So you can see there are multiple different product ones as well. And we can see, let's say I want to choose this one so I can just choose it and pretty much the same as your email editor it's a drag and drop based editor and you can enter any information once you have completed your editing you can just click on publish and you will get a specific uh link as well so you can choose that or if you're already running your website on wordpress then you can import it onto wordpress as well and once you click on publish we can just click on our link and paste and go so this is what the, you know, template is looking like. Obviously, you're just going to change up the name, the images, but you can just use the exact same layouts to make sure it looks very uh, interesting. And you can add call to action buttons as well to just make it simpler. Now, once you do that, you can actually go ahead and go into your landing pages and forms. So now you have your Madison landing page and you can actually see the signups and, you know, all the analytical information. And if you want, you can actually go into your forms, landing pages and forms, click on create new, and you can create a form that you can that you can embed in your uh, landing page. So you can have an inline form or however you want to create your form and then embed the code into your landing page. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with ConvertKit as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.